Okay, thank you. As I said, the name is Ahino from Punk Kelvin, but the name I use on campus is Friends. And my mantra is the reformer. So the reformer means I'm come to reform things, to change things to the best. Alright, and I'm the Projects and Programs Committee Chairperson for Local News. So the last program I checked was the Local News with Celebration, which came out just last week. So I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Yeah, right. So I'm also the PR for Eko Yine. Eko is the one organizing the team. Week. So this Saturday, come and also come and enjoy it. Let's make ourselves available. And I'm also a Local News Presidential Aspirant as well. Okay. So, I actually started schooling at Madonna Preparatory in Brooklyn. And later moved to Accra to go and school at Silicon Valley International, where I graduated as the head of it. And I later moved on to the best school in Ghana, that's Premier College. Yeah. And from there, I came straight in and to come and pursue my ES in Petroleum Engineering. So, why local news presidents? The question has been asked several times, why not SRC? You have the structure, the stature for SRC, the charisma and everything for SRC, why not SRC but why not? Sometimes a man's dream is driven by what he has passed through and the things that he has seen, the things that he has, let me say, taken part of. We could have gone to the SRC just to help the students, but the dream is being there. And I can only do that through local news because news stands for national union of Ghana students. And it's a mother body of all student bodies. So every student from kindergarten to the kids in the is under news. And in order to help students within this jurisdiction, I have to try for the local news president, become the local news president. So that will extend the powers beyond the name. Right. So why must you be voted? I mean, everybody will come to you with policies, mind blowing policies. People will promise you when you come, they are coming to get your chairs, when you come, they are coming to get Politicians usually prey on the things that are haunting us. So they will come to you, they will tell you that, oh, when I come, I'll make the sun stop sculpture. You know it's not possible, but because that's what you want, you fall in for it and you're going for it. But this time, you are bringing things that are going to be feasible, things that can be done. So that in the next exploit, as I said, we are trying to move forward to the next national. So that in the next exploit, when we come to you, it will be like we came to lie to you for power. So this time when we are coming to you, are always like that. So we are giving you the things that's going to really benefit you and I, as students of the day. All right. So um, about your policies and why is it so special? Why is it so different? All right. Thank you. About the policies, we have a whole lot of policies to bring on board, but some of them are pressing and some of them are things that are necessary for inner students. So let me go for the things that are necessary for inner students. Whenever we go to the classroom, the lecture hall, some of the fans are not working. The lighting system is bad. The sockets are not working. But yet, we say we are in the university where we use projectors in the lecture room. So if the plug is not working, where is the lecture going to plug the projector for it to come away for us? How are we going to study in the evening in the lecture room if the lighting system is working? In the scorching sun, how are we going to feel in the class? If the place is hot and you are learning, I don't think you can fathom everything that's going on. So when we come, we are going to make sure that we are going to fix all these things. And also the things that cannot be fixed are going to be released as well. And also, we know we are students and sometimes we get to some parts of the year where we need money to pay our fees and other things. Um, National News introduced something, the exclusive scholarship. The United students benefiting from it are just a few, because people are not aware of it. So what we are going to do is we are going to advocate and also educate people on how to apply for some of these scholarships in order to help them pay their fees and also to live the better life they want to live when you are in campus. Because sometimes you may come to campus, you'll be learning and what you think and what you see. If I don't pay my fees, I won't be allowed to write exams. So that one alone can bring your mental health down about these things. And also we are going to help that we are going to help the students to get opportunities to do their national service and also to secure jobs in some of the big companies.